All right, Maxwell Institute followers, uh, episode three of Maxwell Bookshelves here with Dr. Phil Barlow. Uh, Phil, this is your office. Mm -hmm. uh, get a shot of his shelves here. Uh, is there an organizing theory, Phil? That is a work in process, but you're looking at some restoration studies, and over on that bookshelf is American religion, and over Good. there is Bible and Christian history. And what about over here? Over with all here your, with all got, your medals. We got war in heaven and great mythic works, Iliads and Odysseys, and histories of evil and the devil over there because I'm working on a project on the war in heaven. So Milton uh, has one place among others. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, Phil uh, is our historian and poet and uh, Yoda to our collective Luke Skywalker. Uh, give us a book recommendation, Phil. What do you got? What should people be reading? I heard you were going to do this, and so I pulled off several books off the shelves that are dear to my heart, but I thought I'd throw you off, the, off your game by choosing the book of Job, which is a book widely cited to reference the patience of Job, but nobody reads the book of Job, and that's a bit of a problem. So my recommendation is you get a uh, translation by Stephen Mitchell, whether you're reading Gilgamesh or anything else, get Stephen Mitchell or okay. somebody equally good. And instead of what you expect in Job, it'll read like, finally Job cried out, God damn the day I was born and the night that forced me from the womb. On that day, let there be darkness let it never have been created. Let it sink back into the void. So this is prose. Some of my friends, oddly enough, or the, our most brilliant scholars, understand that they don't love poetry. The Book of Job is poetry, and cast by a fine poet, it can enliven the issues that we grapple with for authentic faith, and we can discover Job was not a patient man. Wonderful. Okay. Thanks, everyone.